Sir, thank you very much. Uh, my role is to, to thank everybody who made time to come here. Last night at 11 o'clock, it was raining very, very heavily. And uh, I was worried that this event was not going to happen as we planned it, if it had rained. And Dr. Munyai called me and he said, uh, it might actually rain. I said, no, 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 don't worry. I have contacted my Sangoma. It is not going to rain. So I would like to thank my Sangoma first. Uh, I would like to thank Professor Wang Wei for making it all, uh, all the way from, um, from China to South Africa. Uh, we were expecting you on the 4th of December, and then we were expecting you on the 11th of December. And we were praying that you were going to make it uh, uh, today, and we thank you for taking time to come all the way from China. I would also like to thank uh, your delegation that has taken time to come here to visit us. I would like to thank uh, my vice chancellor for, for realizing that uh, the Confucius Institute, in fact, we did the measurements. This is, in terms of, of square meters, this is the largest Confucius Institute in South Africa. <laughs> I, I would like to thank my vice chancellor for making sure that uh, it comes to the largest university in Johannesburg with 50,000 students. And also uh, to Dr. Uh, um, Pinky Mehwe, whom I'm going to invite to, 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 to finish my closing remarks, for, for actually doing all the spade work to make sure that we actually have the Confucius Institute. I thank all the delegates uh, uh, who have come from very, very far. Uh, some come from Pretoria. I saw Sipamandla Zondi, uh, who was my classmate many, many years ago. Uh, and, uh, and people from Limpopo, people from Cape Town, all the way to come and, and share this beautiful day with us. Indeed, as the, as the poem that was uh, read here in front of us, it has been a beautiful day. Thank you very much. I'm going to request uh, Dr. Mehwe to come and, and give us the closing remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Marwala. My voice is back. Um, I, I've been asked to, to give a vote of thanks. So the closing remarks are really a vote of thanks. And if I repeat the thank yous, it is simply because one can never thank enough. So esteemed Vice Chancellor uh, Rensberg, um, President Huang Wei, the Nanjing Tech Technological University team, Nanjing Tech University team, um, here present together with the UJ um, leadership team here. And I, I single out for thanks um, my Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Marala, is ever supportive, together with the UJ Confucius Institute co directors, Professors Monyai and Lu. All of you, our valued guests, and especially uh, those that have come from, I was going to say our sister Confucius Institutes, but I had Prof. Dr. Song say brother institutes. <laughs> I'd like to think that we have both brothers and sisters amongst those institutes. Thank you very much um, for coming over here. Colleagues, students, um, and so it is to you that my first set of um, thanks um, go out. I thank you for your kind support uh, through your presence here today, of course, of this, the launch of our joint initiative with Nanjing Tech, Houghton's first Confucius Institute. The time has been ripe uh, for such an initiative which we hope is but the first of what will be a wide range of collaborative programs between our two universities. And we have heard from Dr. Song there are lots of opportunities that we need to follow up on and we look forward to doing that over the next few months. The importance of having a Confucius Institute 
in Johannesburg cannot, I believe, we be overemphasized, especially in view of the remarks given both by Vice Chancellor Rendsburg and President Huang Wei. And the time has been ripe for such a launch too for, for quite a while. But the journey to today, I must say, was fairly swift. It was swift, so swift, as our colleagues at Hanbande and Kabodi for CIs worldwide um, had us know. It was the fastest Confucius Institute establishment that they had ever prevailed over. The formal process took a total of, was it seven or nine months, Professor Rensberg, I, I keep mixing the two. It was a record, certainly, yes, we're told, but it was a record that w w was set up um, b because it really, I must say, it wasn't surprising. It was quite clear that it was going to be a record given the incredible oneness of the thinking and the amount of uh, support that we received both here at home and from um, Nanjing Tech. Discussions at UJ um, started internally here um, around August of 2013. And the, the MEC, which is the Management Executive Committee, the highest uh, body that is led by the Vice Chancellor here at UJ, firmly placed their support behind the idea. And once the recommendation was made to Council, I was given the feedback that not only did council support the idea, I'm sure the vice chancellor sold it um, so well, but they wanted the Confucius Institute to be set up immediately. And so I, I had really no choice in the matter of whether this was going to be um, a record or, or not. We definitely were headed for a record. One doesn't take lightly um, these directives uh, from the top. Um, to get to that record, I should uh, sing aloud in the first instance uh, Dr. Song. Dr. Song really provided the much needed wind below the, the winds that were already given by um, the leadership at the University of Johannesburg. So thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, in the first instance. Thank you, Dr. Song. Please join me in thanking them. <laughs> My counterparts at Nanjing Tech, especially uh, Professors Ujin and Professor Jin Su, were equally unstinting in their support and commitment, which of course would not have led to much had they not had the full support of Professor Huang Wei. So thank you once again, Professor Huang Wei. Thank you, Professors uh, Wu Jin and Jin Su. This is what great partnerships are made of, and we look forward to working with you further. I can't thank enough once we had to set up here at home Professor Posthumus for the initial work that he put into the setting up of the Confucius Institute. At the time, Professor Posthumus was acting dean of the Faculty of Humanities, a faculty under which the Confucius Institute sits, and it is a faculty that currently is led by um, Alex Broadbent, the dean um, sitting over there. I got to learn working with Professor um, Posthumus that not only was he an amazing scholar, he was also a great handyman. He actually went around, you know, hitting a few things with his own um, set of equipment. Professor Alan Burke was more than amazing stepping in at the very beginning while the search was on for a UJ director for the CI. So join me in thanking those two leaders from the Faculty of Humanities. I really would have liked to have thanked by name um, the two poets um, who gave us that beautiful rendition. I thank them and I thank Wang Heng for her graceful dance. I also wish to thank my team at the Division for Internationalization for all their work, and especially Liberté and Ismail, 
for the work that they have been doing, um, working with the ABLE directors here at the Confucius Institute, Professor Slu and Munyai, together with your CI team. Thank you very much for having put all of this together. We especially, all of us that have been doing some work towards the Confucius Institute, and I'm sure I'm joined in this by also representatives of the other Confucius Institutes here, we especially, especially thank Madame Zhu uh, for her support and generosity in ensuring that the works of Confucius Institutes keeps going from strength to strength. Let us thank her in her absence. Let me lastly thank the K Trust for feeding us. They're going to feed us more as you will hear. And last but not least, please join me in thanking the Director of Ceremonies for steering us through this very present ceremony. And thank you again for gracing this occasion with your presence all. Oh, thank you. Yes, I did not say the name of our um, director of ceremonies. It is Professor Lernsberg, and I'm sure you will get a Chinese name after this for all your <laughs> efforts. Thank you. It's, it's Lernsberg, not Rensberg. Let's just get that. Let's get that right, please. Let's not cause a diplomatic incident. Thank you very much. Well, that brings us to the end of our program. I think it's been a great uh, program. Uh, the commissions of the MC notwithstanding. So, um, safe travels, Chi, that's home. Um, we're glad that you could spend the day with us, but it's compulsory for you after the family photo that we're going to take in front of the building. You are all invited to join us for the family photo and more importantly, for drinks. Thank you very much and safe travels. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.